Okay, we're going to be doing a candy cane wreath tonight on a pine, black pine wreath. I made um, a welcome sign this weekend with my Cricut, aka Brother Scan and Cut, vinyl cutting machine, we'll put it that way. But I replaced the O in welcome with the candy corn. Yes, he did. And Max is his name. In fact, I planned on posting today, and I didn't have time, posting all the unique names that they gave their, their puppies. Um, Maximus something of Robin's Hood. Um... Miracle, they put my name in her AKC name. She's doing awesome, though, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And then these were made by my girlfriend last year. I tried to get her to make some more, and she won't. So I guess I'll be making some of these. But didn't she do a nice job on those? So I tried to do as good a job with the little... Um, dashes. I tried to incorporate that in the sign. I did that by hand because I wanted to make them match. So, but I've been sitting here. I've changed my design approach several times already because I'm trying to figure out how I want these to fit in here. And I think what I'm going to do is keep them kind of close together and then maybe go with one or two bows, I'm not sure. But I think I think we'll figure it out as we go. Where are you where are you from, Lillian? I have all kinds of add-ons here. I was trying to go primitive with this but I'm not sure that I can. I like the contrast of this against the black, but I also found this this weekend. It was a five foot um, pipberry, garland pipberry. See, it has the yellow and the orange. But see, this isn't quite yellow. So, like I said, I'm I'm not sure. I keep going back and forth. Like I like that. Oh, my Lulu. Bobby Bobby Jean got Lulu. And Lulu got her car seat today. I finished her car seat. I'll have to check out my um, my pages because Bobby finished both my Robin's Yorkie Nest and my other website. Maybe that's the way we'll go. Maybe they'll jump on here tonight. It seems like I'm getting a lot of good feedback from everybody. Everybody's puppies are doing good. <clears throat> I'm just kind of dry placing these. And again, I'm not sure. I like how this plays off the white and the tan in here. I think this wreath needs the orange, but then when I put the yellow on, colors are fighting me. I 
This is actually a willow. It kind of has a mind of its own. Not liking that. All right, I'm gonna mount the sign because I know that's where I want my sign. And then I'm gonna mount the candy corn and we'll go from there. I think I got so much done creatively this weekend that I'm like hitting a, a creative brain freeze. This is a 20 inch um, black 160 point. And when they, they say that, they count, or tips, that's the word I want to use. 160 tips, meaning that's how many branches there are in here because the tip is that there. longer can use many chat on here to alert you when I'm going live so uh, make sure you hit the I'm trying to remember which button it was following pe following button and that will um, let you know when I'm on because you won't get a, a message anymore I'm hoping um, Facebook changes it somewhere along the line, but I don't know if that'll happen. I did staple these pipe cleaners to the back easy mounting. Okay. Now, let me just try a few things here. I think that kind of looks cute on there. But I want it smaller. I was going to use raffia too. 
which I have. Plugged in the glue gun, but never new glue pot and never turned it on. Maybe that's where I want it to go. like that. So I think we'll put those together. Which I think we're going to have to glue it to the back. Everybody have a good weekend. This was a uh, garland from Ace Moore, five feet, and all their stuff was 40% off this weekend. There's my bow maker. So I don't, I know this is pretty, but it just doesn't look right to me. I think I'm going to save that for last. We'll go ahead and start our bow. one with this one and then this one uh, along with the candy corn so and I'm gonna need zip tie and some pipe cleaners because I may do two bows and get some pipe cleaners. Gonna do 
I'm going to do a 12 inch tail. And six inch loop. I'm going to do three loops and two tails. Sorry, I haven't been following the comments. Hi, Jean. Hi, Wendy. Wendy, I um, have them for sale. They're $5.81 plus shipping. I got them from one of my suppliers. And with him, um, I have to order 24 at a time. So I have them in stock if anybody's interested. And I did list um, the plaid and some of the others that I have um, ribbon. doing three loops and two tails. I'm waiting for the blue pot to heat up. Then I have the yellow Swiss dots. Pinch and twist.
spread out the loops with your fingers. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, Rebecca, it's not, um, it's not feathers, it's pine wreath. It's a pine, um, black pine wreath, 160 tips. And, <laughs> no problem. Um, the candy corn was made by my friend, and the sign I made on my vinyl cutter. I tried to get her to make some more and she's kind of doing other things right now. So I have my husband, um, I drew him a pattern, so I'm hoping he can get some cut out. Because I'd like to be able to sell some. And then I, I did the same um, lines on the sign to match the lines on the candy corn. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue this at the bottom of the candy corn. And I'm thinking three pieces of the pipberry glued right there next to it. Thank you. Yeah, I, I got very creative this weekend. I've got so many things lined up for my upcoming lives. I was having trouble finding um, a sign to match some ribbon that I got. So I decided that I would make my own sign. I think what was getting me with this, I was trying to stay simple and by trying to add stuff onto it, it was not staying simple. So I think by going this route and doing a smaller bow up here and maybe putting some more of the pit berries in there, I think the design will come through the way I want it to come through. I was trying to stay primitive and that's, these are nice but they're not primitive enough. So 
it was fighting me. Thank you. That's what I was trying to accomplish, and I think, I think I got it. I think she did these little dashes by hand. I had to sit there with the ruler. I didn't trust myself to do it as well as she did. Beth is my girlfriend, and a lot of times when I see people that are as creative as myself, I introduce myself, and that's how we became friends. But I miss her because she's not... She's not doing much anymore, so it's a shame because she would put her all into her crafts, and hi, Cecilia, and she really wasn't, um, well, I think for the most part, a lot of us that do handmade items aren't appreciated enough, so, I mean, her work was just original and... She just did such a nice job, and it's just such a shame. Okay, this is what we got so far. And I think, hello, Susan. I think just a smaller bow up here, and then I'll just place some of the pip berries through it. Because, again, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to keep it simple. But I replaced the O in welcome and stuck a little candy corn on there. All right. Let's do a smaller bow for up here. Thank you. One of these days, I'm going to replace that broken Godabra. try to do something unique and I think I got it I will give you a sneak peek at a couple of things that I designed this weekend for my upcoming lives the next one is Wednesday at 2 you need to follow me if you want to be alerted that I'm, I'm going live because they took m many chat away. So now you will not get a message ahead of time. I don't know if Facebook will change it. I don't know what their plans are. But a lot of us did not get approved for it. So... We'll see what they come up with. Be nice if they come up with something in place of it. I love this ribbon. And I think I'll go with an extra loop on this one to be the middle. don't mind spreading the P 
page. I'd appreciate it. And Bobby, who's on here, just finished my um, website and my Yorkie website. So they're both up and running. We're still not sure about that, Rebecca. We're still waiting to hear. They really haven't told us much of anything. I mean, that's supposed to happen, but you'd think when one was going away, they'd have the other one ready to go, but I don't, I don't see it happening. Okay, that's it so far. And then I think I'm just gonna put some of this around. What I did was I took that five foot piece and I cut it into thirds so I can get at least um, a couple of wreaths out of it. I had the tag somewhere here. Don't even remember how much it was, but like I said, it was 40% off, so. Oh, wait a minute, I think I found it. It's a simple fall garland, and it was $9.99, and then 40% off of that, and that was at AC Moore. Okay, so we're just going to put some of this stuff in here. Just going to place it around dry right now first. And then we'll add some glue. I 
think that really um, shows up nice against the black. And if you have a business account and you do classes, you can, if you have like your tax exempt number, um, they will take that too. They will honor it. Okay, what are your thoughts on that? I don't think I want to add any more to it. I think I like it just plain. Ended up with one left over. trying to there how's that yeah I think I would I was overthinking it earlier and was really stressing myself out and I just wanted simple I wanted the main pieces to be this so all right let me show you what I got coming up I had a hard time I got this ribbon and I really really love it oh that's nice thank you Levon so I had bought this design and I decided to change the colors to match the ribbon. Because I just wasn't finding what I wanted out there. Now, when I was in AC Moore this weekend, they had their, a lot of their fall and Halloween stuff was marked down. Thank you. And I found this. And believe it or not, it matches that. So I thought, okay, we'll build from there. And then I did this. So that's going to be one wreath. Um, sure. All right, I'll show you these. Now I have a few ideas with this. I went ahead and I painted this grapevine orange. Thank you, Rebecca. And this one I painted white. Well, it's kind of like an off-white. So there's a few ideas I have for those that are not quite all the way complete yet in my head. So that will be coming up too. And then I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with these, but I'll tell you what they are. I know, right? I think that really makes a difference. Now, these are actually pizza pans from the Dollar Tree. So, I have a few ideas for these. And they will be the middle of the wreath. 
of course they're a dollar so this is a Krylon um, spray paint that I bought from Walmart and that's what I used to paint the wreaths too and it went really well on here I mean I scratched it so I gotta touch that up but and there's several things I could do with the with the one the orange one so I'm just not sure which way I'm going with that and then this little guy I got these in again I had to order them in the dozen to get them but I have these little um, gnomes so he's going to go on a wreath. So I haven't decided which one I'm going to do on Wednesday, but it's in the works. And I have to show you this because have you seen those circular like um, metal things that they sell at Hobby Lobby and they have a piece of wood across here and then you have your arrangement coming out here have you seen those and they're like you know 20 to 30 dollars and they're not really um, I feel sturdy well, believe it or not, this is a 12 inch by three inch cake pan, cake pan that I found this weekend. So what my husband is gonna do is put a piece of wood across here for me. And then I'm gonna put a hole up here and use that as the hanging part and decorate the inside. That's so farmhouse too. How much are they at Pottery Barn? Just curious. But this is just a 12 inch by three inch cake pan. Now, one of the girls that took my class last week, Thelma, she told me they make them in 10 inch, they make them in eight inch, and she has two of them for me. Now this was $2.99. I bought it on senior day, so I got 20% off that. I, I had these in my basket at Hobby Lobby to order them online, and I've been wanting to do it, but I just, it almost looks like a tire. And, and I thought, you know, that's so much money that you have to put out for it. Then you have to get that money back out of it, along with everything else you're adding to it. Yeah, see? $60. This is just a cake pan, for gosh sakes. So, I'm going to try that too. So, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, my gnome, he's actually going to go on a white wreath. And uh, he looks pretty good. So, and... I got some picks to go along with, again, at AC Moore. I mean, check these out. They're going to go so well with this, aren't they? This little green ghost. So, I think, I think we're going to do the Noom on Wednesday, and then, unless I get this finished in time. And again, I could use this on the black wreath, too. So, you want to see the wheelbarrow wreath? I'm trying to think of what base I was going to put that on. I was probably going to do a deco mesh with that one. Because I have a deco mesh um, roll that actually has some of those colors in it. 
So I could do that one next. That would be Tuesday at 3. These were $3.99 and then 40% off of that. And I, when I saw this color, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's going to go so good with this. I may even be able to use the black wreath. Let me grab it and see if it'll be big enough. It will. Would that look good? And then these on that. I, you know, I was so glad I did what I did and then went out for something else because all of a sudden it's like the whole design just fell right in my lap because everything just matched and did what I wanted it to do. And I love using these wreath bases because you can just tie everything in there. Now this one's flat. It needs to be fluffed out, but I think we'll go ahead and use this base. And see, all you have to do is punch two holes in it, or three, and just attach it right to the wire wreath frame. And perfect for putting your business card on the back. See, once I fluff this out, you get a good view. Green's one of my favorite colors, so I like that. So that gives you a few ideas of what's coming up. I just have to work the rest of it out in my head. Once I get it all figured out, then we'll go from there. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? I have no puppies to go upstairs to. Only my bigger dogs. It's so quiet here now. But I have to, to say everybody was pleased. Their puppies are doing well. Um, sleeping through the night, like I said they would. So... Yes. Yep. I, I, I really want to do the green one before I do the wheelbarrow, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll switch it up. We'll do another different one because we did the black wreath this time. All right, guys. I'll finish gluing this and put the the hanger on it and I think we're good. And then just watch for me on Wednesday at 2 if you would. Okay. All right everybody I'm going to say good night and thank you for joining me. <laughs> they, I, Lulu left today and I made her her car seat and she just did awesome in it she just sat there and waited for her mom to finish talking and then we put it in the car and away she went she couldn't figure out where all her siblings were but and poor little Max he had like three people that wanted him and got a little nasty but is what it is all right thank you thank you Rebecca thanks Levon good night everybody